All right, guys, check this out. True story. I'm texting back and forth with Nick from Exquisite Time Pieces. We're talking about what watches he's going to send next. And um, he throws out there, uh, like me, totally unsuspecting this, but Exquisite Time Pieces has been working with Squale on a limited edition release just for Exquisite Time Pieces. It's this Squale Nitrox Diver. It's basically a 1521 that is, uh, you know, color weighed out. And I'll show more of the watch. But it comes with this excellent wood display case. You open that up and it's got some cutouts and everything. It also comes... Let me move that out of the way. It also comes with this dive knife, fixed blade knife in this Kydex sheath. Sheath. It's, uh, I'm not familiar with that brand. If the knife guy's out there, you guys might recognize it. Um, but it seems like a nice quality. It's, you know, I think it's a purpose-built blade for the divers. So very cool package. Um, it'll also come with a bracelet. So the bracelet isn't was not included with uh, this prototype here to share with you guys because they were still working on some final details on it. Now typically when the 1521, the bracelet is a um, Melanese or shark mesh or whatever you want to call it. But he didn't clarify if that's what it's going to be. But it'll come with this strap, this Tropic strap, which is very comfortable as well. And it um, retail price on this one's going to be 1800 bucks. There's only going to be a hundred of these. So if you want one, highly, highly recommend getting a hold of Nick ASAP and get your name on the list. Um, I'll put his contact information in the description below. But in case you're wondering more about this particular watch, I've done video, there's been a ton of videos on the 1521, but it's basically a 41 and a half millimeter wide. That's at the bezel kind of, so the case is more like a 41. You can kind of see it sticks out past it a little bit. Uh, 48 and a half lug to lug. You can see the turndowns on that full polish case lug is what makes it wear so comfortable. On top of that, that crazy offset and tucked in crown, it's not, not of, uh, obtrusive at all. So 13 millimeter thick, 20 millimeter lug width here. Like I said, it's going to be great on whatever strap. I mean, heck, you can put this thing on leather if you want. I won't tell anybody. Uh, 120 click bezel on this. Excellent bezel action. Uh, Squally also uses, like what Breitling and a few other brands do, these little screws here to hold the bezel onto the case. Bezel insert. I've seen this bezel insert used on a few other limited edition Squally pieces. Not really sure what the thought process is here. It does look kind of militant and clean, but uh, not very practical for the sense of timing things, in my opinion. Uh, but still aesthetically very fun, very cool. It does have the loomed triangle there, and then it's just this matte black. And I, I don't even think it's ceramic. I'm not 100% sure what the bezel insert is. I couldn't find accurate information on that. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, Sapphire Crystal, you can see it has AR coating there, that little blue. You have that polished chapter or riot inside. And then you kind of have uh, uh, another... I showed this to another buddy, and he says, like, yeah, it's kind of like Rasta looking. Well, he was referring to the Nitrox dive flag there you can see at the six o'clock position um, if you were to put a yellow cross going um, from the left bottom to the right top then it kind of looks a lot like the Jamaican flag uh, but that's the nitrox diver flag and then you have that bold yellow but then filled in with that faux patina gives it a really interesting look for sure um, so I think it's very playful very fun but also still kind of like militant looking almost uh, which is weird because it's a full polished case, so a little, um, I don't know what you call it, uh, unique, I guess, um, interesting colorway choice for sure. I think it looks great though. So let's pop it on my wrist. Inside should be the Salita SW200. That's pretty much what they're using nowadays. Um, like I said, there's only 100 of them. It will have, and the strap is like so comfortable. And it has matching hardware. But there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. The 1521 is a spe just a spectacular um, Squale. I'll probably pick up another one. If you remember not too long ago, I had the full loom dial one. And I ended up selling that. But I legit missed the 1521. I don't know if I can pull off. I love the look of the full polished case. But man, it just fingerprint magnet. So I might see about maybe a matte case or... But I feel like I would miss that full polish because the 1521 just, to me, 
when I think 1521, I think the full polish case with that brilliant blue dial and bezel. That's like kind of the iconic one for me personally. Um, so I think if I didn't get the full polish case, I would probably miss it. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you guys have a 1521, which one do you have? Do you think you'd be interested in uh, a very limited edition, 100 of them, only 100? So that's going to be really cool. Typically, I think when they do limited editions, they're more like 300 quantity. So to see a 100 release is pretty fun. So uh, let's kill the lights. I am going to give it a little supercharge here because I'm not... I'm never really sure when they do the faux patina how bright it's going to be. I'm not sure the formula used on this one. Um, but it has a nice green glow to it. Different handset than you would typically see with a 1521. It has a broad arrow hand for the hour and then just kind of a stick for the minute and then a lollipop on the seconds. Plenty bright, no doubt about it. A little bit of fade already happening to the naked eye. So I'm not sure about the sustainability of it, but I can tell it's fading a little bit but uh, it probably will last a little while. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.